Jim, by all I've had tonight, I ought to be drunk, see? I want to be drunk. I want to be drunk more than I've ever wanted anything in my whole life. Richard Attenborough made his film debut while still at drama school. Here, playing a cameo role as a scared, deserting sailor, Noel Coward's In Which We Serve in 1942. Over the next 30 years, save for three years serving in the RAF, he became a star and a stalwart of character acting on stage and film. Richard Attenborough fell in love with acting at an early age, putting on amateur productions with his brother, now Sir David. And the show ran, I think, for three and a half hours. <laughs> yes, and after the first two hours, <laughs> Father came... We had an no, interval. no, it was an interval. And That's I announced a 20-minute interval. Yes, and Father came round and said, carry straight on and cut it. <laughs> 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 Which, Which is something I should have done all my life, really. Try <laughs> oh, your skill. Don't be afraid. Don't be best. Oh, on your boom. You can see the clock, can't you? Don't stand for phony alibis, see? His first career-defining role was as Pinky Brown, the baby-faced thug in Brighton Rock. Quarter past one. Here, take your running prize and hop it. His first major Hollywood role was as the cool-headed RAF squadron leader Roger Bartlett in The Great Escape. We're going to devote our energies to sports and gardening, all the cultural pursuits as far as they're concerned. In fact, we're going to put the goons to sleep. Meanwhile, we dig. But it was as a director that he had his greatest successes. I like being in charge, you see, I'm afraid. I like having my way. The monumental three-hour biopic of Gandhi was for many his finest hour. A high-minded, old-fashioned epic which won him two Oscars for Best Picture and Best Director. Who the devil are you? My name is Gandhi, Mohandas K. Gandhi. Well, whoever you are, we don't want you here. I suggest you get back on that train before it leaves. They seem to want me. Now look here. Kids have come out and said, I never knew this man existed. I feel better. You know, I, I really, I, I, there seems hope, as it were, you know, as, as, as one kid said, which we've used as our slogan, it is possible to live in peace. The film was a passion bordering on obsession that saw him mortgage his house and sell possessions to finance. How would you like to see how we live? The 90% of your fellow countrymen who have to get off your white streets at six o'clock at night. Five years after Gandhi came Cry Freedom, another overtly political film, the story of the murdered black activist Steve Biko in apartheid South Africa. A lifelong Labour man, he would nonetheless embarrass Neil Kinnock by cheerfully showing up at campaign events in his beloved Rolls Royce. Attenborough became a campaigner against apartheid, leading to a long-lasting friendship with Nelson Mandela. He was also awarded the Martin Luther King Non-Violence Peace Prize. Involved with over 30 organisations, he chaired the British Film Institute, Channel 4 and RADA. Welcome to Jurassic Park. In 1993, he was tempted back to acting after a self-imposed retirement of 14 years with a role in Steven Spielberg's Jurassic Park. His marriage to actress Sheila Sim lasted over 70 years. They married in 1945 and had three children. But tragedy struck ten years ago when their elder daughter Jane and granddaughter were killed in the Asian tsunami. Dickie was a name given to him because Richard and Dick were already taken. He hated it, but it proved fitting for a man who will always be remembered not just for his talent, but for his warmth and humanity. <laughs>